In the simplest sense, vacancy is written about addiction. I tend to write from a first person setting, but we all have empty spaces inside us or vacancies that we try to fill with a variety of things. And some of us make better choices than others in terms of what we fill them with. For myself, you know, in my late teens and early 20s, I made some less than perfect choices and it really helps me in a lot of ways in my songwriting. The irony is that the bad choices I made, it's taken me all this time for them to actually come around and help me. Thousands of miles behind me Still I don't know where I've been Open my eyes to That particular song is a funny so one because it, it it was written in a, in a non-standard order for me. Uh, um, the first line I came up with was uh, the very first line of the song. It was thousands of miles behind me still, I don't know where I've been. And, th and that was after coming back from doing a lot of traveling. A lot of the songs I write, I tend to come up with the hooks first. And this particular song wasn't like that. So it kind of led me in a strange place, which was a bit of an eye-opener writing-wise. It kind of allowed me to do things that I was afraid to do. Because I, I was working on the song and I wasn't uh, scared to not have a hook. And then the hook came. And I promise not to lose my way this time And if only I can find a little peace of mind well, it's funny with this song. This particular song is written in an open G tuning. And so if, if you play the guitar, that's a chord all by itself with no fretting. When you talk about the chorus and that chord that comes in, there's the resolution. One of the things that tends to happen with a lot of open tunings is you stay in that drone and you can never find the chord that's going to be the hook. And I was particularly worried about this song when I was on it, working on it because I got the two first verses. I didn't have the hook. I had gone out on a limb and chosen a different path of songwriting than I normally do. And it was probably like, I don't know, 2.30 in the morning of this session of working on the song when I found it, what I wanted to do with the vocal melody and that chord, and I had such a feeling of relief. Because nine out of ten times when I write in open tunings, I write a million song intros and no songs, which is the worst feeling. You know, you get all this stuff done, you can't make a song out of it. And it happens more than I'd like to admit. <laughs> Troubled mind can be dangerous with time. Vacancies in me. Closure is a funny thing because I think I think with this particular subject, I don't think that it's ever really closed. Because if you really think about what makes you feel like you have holes inside of you that you can't plug, you know, and, and especially if you plug them with things that were the wrong way to go, you got to be honest with yourself and realize that that's still there. Um, the way I would look at it and the way I do look at it is the positive from the negative. And I take it as a blessing that, you know, through going through something in my life and with friends around me, that basically I was given this song, is the way I think about it. I kind of think of all of the songs as a gift, really. You know? I don't pretend that I, you know, have uh, this grand plan. These things tend to just come to me. Uh, and usually I finish them in one shot. This particular song, when I wrote it, I remember staying up until 5 o'clock in the morning tracking all the parts, because once I played through it once, I was like, okay, I gotta finish this. I'm gonna forget it. I've had people come up to me and say that the song had a variety of different meanings to them, which I think is so cool. I never anticipated it. I wrote it for myself. I didn't really write it for anybody else. I wrote it about how I felt. You know, I had been doing a lot of traveling. I felt very alone, and I felt, you know, Fifteen years later, I felt like I was back in a mental place where it made me a little nervous, you know, and I think it's, you have to stay on top of your demons, you know, and I think that's one of the points of the song as well.